Hey, welcome back. I love sharing tips and hints on how you can create a website with Elementor that allows you to do some LMS. I'm not talking about all of the neat stuff that LMS plugins and themes can do because they can do a whole lot more. But what if you wanted a free solution whereby someone goes to a website, they find a course they like, they purchase the course, it's a virtual course, and when they go to access it, they go to another page to access it. And that's where all your documents, videos, PDFs, whatever you're going to have is on there. However, you want to secure that page whereby you can only access it if you have purchased that product. So let me explain. Let's say we've got um, we've got mini courses on here, okay? We've got a course on here for Zero to Hero, buy now for seven pounds, okay? This is how the client's website, this is how they wanted it, okay? If you buy that course, you should be able to now go to a page where you can access that course, okay? But if you have, well, basically, if you've purchased that, you access that, but you cannot access the super fit unless you've purchased the super fit as well. Is this making sense, okay? So if you've purchased super fit, you can access the super fit, but you can't access the zero to hero unless you've purchased that as well. So what that means now is rather than someone having to pay like a monthly fee where they get everything, you could have a monthly fee subscription where they access some stuff and that is on here as well. Uh, using There's a video we did on PayPal subscriptions, go and check that out, okay? But what if you have mini courses? So there might be a £30, $30 course, $50 course, $100 course, and you want to make sure that if someone has purchased the $30 course, they can't access the other courses. That's the way it goes. And that is so easy and simple to do. And the plugin we're going to use is Page Restrict for WooCommerce. And it is so simple. It is scary. It's unbelievable. I'm not, I just don't know why we don't know more about this plugin. It's free. It's been updated a month ago. It, it works. Okay, the reviews on it are excellent. It works. It's really good. It's only got 60 active installations. I think it's going to blow through the roof after you see this video and what it can do. By the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And by the way, I am UK based in case anyone's wondering. So let's have a look at how this operates and how it works. The first thing we're going to do is go to our product. So super fit in 10 days. There is nothing really much you need to do here except make sure it's a virtual product, obviously, because this is a virtual video and a guide. We have a price in there. And the only thing you need to do here is you go to the advanced uh, tab down there. And here, what you do is I'm going to put in a bit of notes. So I've typed in access the course here after logging in. OK, and after logging in, there is a link here that's going to take them to the relevant page. It's pretty dead simple, okay? This is where we're gonna put the link in for the page. And if you're wondering, well, where is the page? If I go to pages, if we go to access Superfit in 10 days, okay? If I view that, or however you do it, you're gonna get the URL, okay? And what you would do is you would stick the URL into here. So I've stuck the URL in, and then I've stuck it in again. This is now a, uh, you know where you use the, the, the hrefs or whatever you call it, um, HTML, to, so that you can have a clickable link. If you just add this in, you're just going to get the word. If you have it um, within these brackets here, like how I've got here, uh, you know, uh, um, whatever you want to call it, um, less than bracket, a href, you put the code in or the URL in, and then you put in a word, click here. It, basically, it's there, okay? Uh, you can easily get this off any website, to be honest. It then gives you a clickable link. OK, that is key because you want them to click. I will explain why this is really important in a moment. OK, stay with me on this. OK, because once they've purchased and they go to their account to access the page, they have a link that takes them to the page. But again, they could share this page with anyone. They could get that URL and give it to their friends and go, hey, look, I paid for it. Don't worry. Here's, the doc here's all the documentation and guides for free. You don't have to pay a penny. That is, again, where this plugin, okay, where is it? Where is it? There is page restrict for WooCommerce helps you out massively. All we've done is edit our product. This isn't even using the plugin. We've just gone to advanced, and in the purchase note, we've just said, this is where you're now going to go to access your document, okay? You could, if you want, have it on the actual website as well. So you might have, like, um online coaching and next door to it have another sub menu which is access the page or even a button 
on the page. So when you go to the page which says, hey, buy me, I'm really good, you're going to love me, there's a button that says access the page. Either way, if you have not paid for the product, you're going to go to a page which is going to say access denied. You must log in first to access this or purchase it. But how do we set that all up? And again, this is where the plugin comes into its use. So let me now show you what you do. Let's go to the access super fit in 10 days. I've called it access so that I know that this is the page where you actually access it. The super fit in 10 days is the like the sales page. Hey, look, this is what you're going to get. Come and buy me. The access is the actual page. Now, you create your page with Edit with Elementor. This is important. You create, you still do everything with Edit with Elementor. Once you've designed the page, and it's now got all of the stuff on. You then come out of it and then you click edit. You can do this as many times as you want. So you can go back in and add more stuff with Elementor and then come out and hit edit. The reason why you have to hit edit is because the plugin gives you a block which you can't use in Elementor, but you do use on your page. Makes no sod all difference, okay, with how you do things with Elementor. Trust me, everything works fine. You click edit. And I'm now just going to move myself over here and you can see all of my stickers and my light. Okay, over there. Now, when you come over to the page, right, you will see a little block. It looks like a little alien, little symbol, shield, whatever you want to call it. That is the page restrict for WooCommerce. And what you do is you click that. And it now says to me, okay, so we're restricting the page, but how are we restricting it? You can only access this page if you've purchased a super fit in 10 days. Aha. What if I want to get rid of that? Well, I could get rid of it. And I might say, well, you also have to purchase the zero to hour. So either one of them. Well, let me explain. If I untick that, you have to have purchased both. Right. The super fit and the zero to hour product. By me enabling that, as long as you've purchased one of those products, you can now access the page. So you can have a bit of control over must they first purchase five products. Because it might be a super page where you might say, look, if you purchase all five of these, you get access to the uber super guide video course that no one else in the world gets access to, except those who've purchased those five products. You could stick them all in there. And then you could say, un disable that, because now you're saying you must have all five. Or you say, you just have to have one of these five and you get access to this additional bit of information and course. It's super, super good. This is then the second bit you need to do. If you come to this page and you have not purchased a product and it knows you've purchased it because it all links into WooCommerce and you have not purchased this based on your login, you will get taken to the access denied page. And the access denied page is just a page I created in Elemental again with access denied. Sorry, you must log in to access these, these uh, documents or you must uh, purchase or access it, whatever I put there. So what this now does is it puts some security on this page. OK, you cannot get into this unless you've purchased the product. And if you haven't purchased it, if you share this link with your friends and family and they go to it, unless you share their login, which we can't do much about, really, unless you share your login with them, they can't access that documentation. OK, and um, it, it, it is so easy and good to use. And let me just show you it's in action now. So once someone has logged in, they'll go to orders and over here. I'm going to go to this order here. OK, it's currently says zero pounds because this was all part of the testing for this client. But if I go into here, I will now see that I have got. Let me just move myself a little bit. I have now purchased three courses. The zero to hero, the super fit in 10 days and how to manage emotional eating. Can you notice here? There is that description I was talking about. Please. Oh, sorry, we'll do this one because this is one I showed. Access the course here after logging in. There is the URL. But notice it is not a clickable URL, but it gives you the page, right? So you can now copy and paste that, but that's not user friendly. By using the Ahrefs and all of that, you, um, HTML syntax, we now have a link here. And look, if I click that, that is going to take me to the page where you can now start to access all of the content and documentation we have in here. So from a user friendly point of view, the link is there. You can't access it unless you've purchased a product. OK, and this page is now secure. And this was all done with a really free plugin. Dead, dead, it's simple. Just make sure you do your products. You put like a, a product, you know, a purchase note after they've purchased, telling them where to go. 
and make sure you've set it for the page. Dead, dead simple and easy to use. Ooh, let me move myself back in. Dead, dead simple, dead, dead easy to use. Go and use it. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.